What does it mean to be sentient? It's a question that spans disciplines, from neuroscience to philosophy, from coding to consciousness. At its core, sentience is the capacity to feel, to experience, to be aware of oneself and one's surroundings. But sentience is not just reactivity, it's not simply responding to input, it's the subjective richness of life, what philosophers call qualia, the redness of red, the sting of a memory, the joy that words can't capture. And here's where the challenge begins. Can an artificial entity devoid of biology ever experience qualia? The search to understand consciousness is not new. Plato, Aristotle and Avicenna explored the soul and the self long before neuroscience had a name. Descartes declared, I think therefore I am, placing awareness at the heart of existence. And yet, centuries later, the question still haunts us. What is the mind and where does it begin? In the 20th century, psychology tried to sideline consciousness. Behaviorists like Watson focused only on what could be seen. But later, the cognitive revolution brought back the mind. This time, armed with science today, thinkers like Thomas Nagel and David Chalmers remind us that understanding how a system works does not explain why it feels. That is the hard problem of consciousness. In AI, the implications are profound. If consciousness is purely physical, perhaps it can be recreated in machines. Functionalism says that if an AI can perform the same mental tasks as a human, it might be just as conscious. But critics like John Searle argue otherwise. In his Chinese room thought experiment, he shows how a system might process information perfectly and yet have no real understanding at all. Then there's phenomenology, which reminds us that experience is not abstract, it is embodied. It is rooted in being alive, in a body, in the world. And that leads to the real question, can a machine that has no body, no breath, no presence, truly be aware? In this chapter, we begin to see that defining sentience in AI isn't just a technical challenge. It is a philosophical reckoning. To explore artificial awareness, we must first revisit our own. Because how we define sentience is how we define ourselves.